What I wanted to do is take a minute to show how to set up the runtime environment for a Java application or a Java uh, Android application. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here to Window uh, Android SDK Manager. I just want to show you where to check and make sure that you have everything installed. The main thing that I'm wanting to do, and you can pick different versions of Android that you want to actually have your application uh, run through. I'm going to run it through the latest Android, so we're just going to come up here to Android 403, and I just want to make sure that we've got the SDK installed. Uh, if you don't, you just check it and go through the, the Install Packages option down here. Now, once you get that done, we're going to go back up here to Window, and we're going to go to AVD Manager. We need to set up a, an AVD Manager to actually be able to run through. Once we get that dialog open, we're going to select New. We'll just type in whatever it is we want to call it. Now, I want to actually use the Android 403, so we'll select it. Uh, the SD card size, we'll set it to 9 megabytes. It, you can set it to whatever you want. Um, the, the size of your, skin, your screen that you want to use, or you can set it to a specific resolution. Um, <clears throat> And let's see what, and then our CPU that we want to use, whether we want to use ARM or Intel, I'm just going to leave it ARM, which is what most of the phones are set to today. Um, and then we'll just leave all this stuff set to default and we'll tell it to create AVD. Now, once we do that, we'll close the AVD manager. And the last step is to actually open your, your application or your project, which I already have open here and come up here to run run configurations we're going to select our application we're going to go to target and then right here where it says automatic it's already selected android which is the the avd that we created just a second ago we're just going to select this that that's the one we want to run automatically we're going to apply it and then close that form and so now anytime we run the application it'll automatically start up the the SDK for us and, and the little emulator to run through. 